sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry, y'all. My um, phone connection. I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi at the hotel, and the Wi-Fi here is not the tea. Um, but yeah, I'm eating some good breakfast. Oh, hey, New Zealand. Hey, Penny. Hey, Solitaire. We are here in the city of Louisville, Kentucky. If you are in Louisville, Kentucky, in a few hours, I will be making my way over to Lemu for a drag brunch. But I'm having my own drag brunch here at the hotel because uh, by the time I even get to eat, brunch is going to be over. That's going to be about 2.30, 3 o'clock. No, I think the second show starts at 2. So maybe 3.34. What's up, Oregon? Um, I'm performing in Kentucky at Alemu Drag Brunch. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Come through, fuck. What, what is that? Lord, y'all gonna clock me. Macedonia? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't even know what it is. Is that a problem? Oh, hey, boo. Oh, I totally forgot. I do need to talk to her about coming back to the yes. beach. Lord, fix, j fix it, Jesus. Oh, I don't forgot. You know, honey, I'm so ADD. Thanks for you. Yes, thank you so much. You're so welcome. You don't have anything else for that. I'm good, thank you. Baby. Hopefully these eggs don't make me boo-boo. But baby, I got these eggs. And a good old waffle. Come through for the waffle. Mm-hmm. Girl, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come to Brazil. I would love to come to Brazil and Germany. Hey, Belgium. <laughs> Politeness, queen. <laughs> yes, darling, you have to have your manners. Yes, sir, no, sir. May I suck the cock? You always have to ask. Thank you, love. Oh, I miss you, boo. My future star. Uh-huh, yes. You're right about that, Kalana Blue. Baby, this year has been sickening for me as far as the gigs go. Already, honey. I have been booked. I got bookings leading all the way down to September. Already. It ain't completely, completely full yet, but it's getting there. <laughs> So I'm gonna be all over the place this year, 2018. I'm so excited. Oh, Macedonia is right next to Greece. Am I saying that right? Is it Macedonia? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to come back to Mexico. Uh, I miss you too, Funkin. Jaded for All Stars, but we'll see. Belgium is the so-called S-word hole. <laughs> oh, I love y'all. Hey, hey, UK. Oh, I'll be coming down to UK at the end of the year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 2018 year of the Jaden. I love. Oh, yeah. We do need to um, text me, boo, so we can um, chit chat about that because, girl, fix it, Jesus. I was just like, oh, let me call her. And then. Uh, child, my brain is all over the place. I'm so ADD. I totally forgot. But yeah, I need to do that. Because I had so much fun in Virginia Beach. I need to come back and put that on my calendar. Aw, thank you so much, Penny. I would love to come to Finland, too. Finland just got to pay my good old flight, hotel, and booking fee. But I go. So tell them about me. What I cut here to come to Belgium. I surely will, honey. I will come anywhere where they got a checkbook. Let me tell you that, honey. They got a good old checkbook. And it clears. <clears throat> oh, I will be there. I'm not coming to Oregon. I've never been to Oregon, but I would like to go. 
So tell your bars and clubs that, um, hey, we want this plus size diva that works that puss all over the stage. Oh, because I want to meet you, feed you, take care of you, make sure you're sleeping. <laughs> it's the support we need. I live. Yes. You remind me of that song. I want to cater to you. Baby, let me eat these eggs. Mmm. Come to all, but oh, I'll come through, All Star. I will be at DragCon. Come through, Philly. Um, I think I've been to Philly, I think once. Baby, hold on. I'm trying to, like, balance this phone. Right, honey, my food's gonna get real cold, baby. <laughs> can I balance this? I'm trying to balance it with salt and pepper. Oh, get it? Salt and pepper. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, baby. Let me bless these eggs. These eggs will be blessed, baby. Yes. Won't he do it? Come through. Tasting all right for you? Yes, thank you so awesome. much. Yeah, I we'll appreciate it. Grab you. You wanted to catch up your potatoes or anything like that? Actually, that'll be a blessing. All right. I'll grab some right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, 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 baby. That wasn't salt. That was pepper. I don't like a whole bunch of salt. I just did a dash of salt, but a lot more pepper. Yeah, Thank you so much. Those were a little dry. You just made some fresh stuff. So the potatoes up there are brand new. Just came out of the fry. Okay. Well, I'm fine. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a blessing. Uh -huh. Rest of a blessing. Mm -hmm. He would have had dry potatoes, y'all. He got dry potatoes. Add a little bit of moisture. We need more positive things like you know more. Aww. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Girl, you hungry? Baby, these eggs are a blessing. You need March to hurry up and get here. Am I coming to your city in March? What city are you in? Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, hey. Y'all see I, how I just not inhaled that egg? Oh, I did. Oh, it was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ireland is not on my calendar so far, but I would love to. Oh, you like my little stars. Thank you. Thank you. Now you have salt in your heart. Fix it, Jesus. Won't he do it? <laughs> Y'all didn't see that. Oh, somebody typed something real long. I'm a trans guy. I'm a drag queen. And many people... Don't get why I do drag when you want to be a man. Now I'm kind of afraid of performing. Do you have some advice for me? Yeah, I got some advice for you. It's called don't listen to nobody. Don't listen to what nobody got to say. Because the thing is, is a lot of people don't understand me. I'm pansexual. I like trans men just like you. And some people just don't get it. They think it's weird. But hey. A man is a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but y'all, don't listen to folks. Don't let folks run, run your life. That's what I had to learn after drag race. I really am flicking these eggs. But that's what I had to learn after drag race. I got on drag race and I used to be that type of person where if somebody, some, if somebody says something extremely negative, I would take it so far to heart to a point where it would like literally depress me sometimes because... I was so worried about what people were going to say, especially when people had rude stuff to say and mean comments and all that other stuff. 
And that stuff really used to get to me. And I, I still read comments to this day where people are like, oh, Jaden is so busted. Jaden is so terrible. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm not one of those people that, like, don't read the comments. I do read the comments. But it used to actually get to me. I used to be like, oh, no, maybe I am a bad drag queen. Oh, no, maybe I am terrible. Oh, I got all these people saying that my style is so horrible. Oh, oh, my God, my makeup needs so much work, you know. Um, and I used to listen to those people. And let me tell you something, honey. This is what I learned from RuPaul. Unless they paying your bills, pay them bits no mind. You know what I'm saying? And the way I look at it is, in this world, in this life, you can do what you want. And I had to learn how to be confident in myself and learn that. And it's still hard for me sometimes, but I had to learn that, um, you know, no matter what people say, I had to realize that I am gifted, I am talented, I am great. Because there were so many people after this Drag Race show telling me how terrible I was and how I'm a busted drag queen and how I'm this and how I'm that and oh, I don't have enough talent and this and that, and, you know. And I really took that to heart a lot of times, but baby, once I started, to, I had to sit back. Sometimes you got to give your, your own self a confidence boost. And that's something I struggle with sometimes and I'm getting better with it every day. Um, sometimes when I read these comments, sometimes I got to sit back and say, I am sickening. I am fierce. I am talented. And I'm not going to let other people take that away from me. So, you do the same. And that was a Dr. Phil moment by Jaden D.R. Fierce. Oh, I spit. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't talk and eat at the same time. Uh huh. Thank you, boo. Oh, Virginia, you right about that, honey. There's a lot of them that ain't drag queens and think that they just are drag experts. And the way that I look at it, too, the way I look at it, too, as I look at it like this, most of these people who have so much to say about how bad of a drag queen I am, how terrible I am, and this and that, and how I'm not good enough, and I'm not ready for drag race, and all this other stuff, was I the greatest? No. Did I have the best runways? Absolutely not. Do I have the best dance moves in the business? Absolutely not. There's always somebody who can out make up you, out hair you, out dance you, out entertain you, and outdo you, which is fine, you know. But you got to find your own confidence. And the thing that I had to tell myself is, yeah, my costumes and stuff ain't the, the greatest. But you know what makes me proud is I make every single last one of the costumes that I wear. There's very, I literally maybe have three to four like costumes if that um in my drag closet that somebody else made and those i really don't even wear that often um i make my i style my own hair is my hair the greatest no it's not but i style my own hair i make my own jewelry my little um earrings and stuff the big drag earrings i make my own jewelry i style my own hair i make my own costumes and am i the greatest at either of those absolutely not I'm still learning. I still got a lot of learning to do. But at the same time, I take pride and I am proud. I am happy. Now, maybe one day, you know, one day I would love to, you know, have some designers whip up some stuff for me. Absolutely. I ain't got nothing against it. And if I had a choice, honey, I would much rather have people um, whip stuff up for me. But I just have a very specific way that I want to look. And, um... You know, and that's the whole tea with that. Um, but, you know, I'm proud of myself. Sorry, y'all. My alarm is starting to go off. But, yeah. Anyways, and this goes for anybody out there. Even if you ain't doing drag, whatever you want to do, don't let people get you down. You know, um, don't let people, you know, don't let people get you to that point. Because... An opinion is just like a booty hole. We all got one. And that don't mean 
that somebody else's, what comes out of one person's booty hole is better than what comes out of yours. No, honey, it's all the same. I don't care if you got more money than me. I don't care if you got more followers than me. If you look better than me, I don't care if you got muscles or this and that, you know, or a cuter face than me, I don't give a hoot. It's all about, um, you know, believing who you are. And that's what, hey, Germany. Oh, I'm, I'm buttering up this good old waffle. It is good old, that good old, that good old waffle. Mm-hmm, that's right, a good old waffle. But yeah, anyways, why do I always get into the, like these very inspirational <laughs> posts? It seems like every time I get online, somebody like, oh, what should I do? And then here I come being Miss Dr. Phil. I'm going to have to start charging y'all for advice. I'm just playing, no. <laughs> I'm just I'm just I live. Mm-hmm, you can have a, um, you can have a good old waffle. You're gonna have to come here to Louisville, Kentucky, though. Oh, girl, I tried it. Mm-hmm, yes. Aw, thank you, Claire. Oh, hey, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Brittany. I didn't even notice. I was just reading the comments. I was not paying attention to the profile. What's up, boo? I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Yeah, hey. Oh, yeah, that was a blessing. I got a question. Do you got a better knife? Because, baby, this is like sawing. I'll, I'll get you a steak knife. How's that work for you? Oh, yeah, that'll be a blessing. Thank you so much. He's so nice. And so sweet. Like yeah, nice. I was really sitting here. Like <laughs> no problem. Thank you. <laughs> oh yes, that's so much better, baby. I was sawing at this good old waffle for about five minutes. I'm like, dang, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a blessing. It's a little bit crisp. But overall, it's a, rest, a good old blessing. I told you to get his number. I can't do that. I got a husband now. Well, a man. He ain't my husband yet, baby. We got a long way to go. <sighs> but I can look, but I just can't touch. <laughs> mm hmm. Baby, yes, baby. You need a good old steak knife for this waffle, honey. You want to see me on all sauce for it? Oh, me too, honey. But I need some time. <laughs> Surprise, Tiffany, we're married. <laughs> this life is making me hungry. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go to my hotel room and boo-boo this all out before uh, getting in, in drag. Hey, what's up, boo? How you doing, Miss Shalana? <laughs> right, girl, I might as well be frozen, honey. I'm gonna tell you something about that. I mean, it's good though. It's just a little rough, but it's still good. It still tastes blessed. Mm -hmm. Opinion on the latest Drag Race episode. So sorry, honey. How my alarms is going off? have a review up with Alaska on vh1.com so if you want my opinion head on over the thing that sucked though um I 
had a good time filming with Alassa. It was amazing. But they cut out a ton of our fun moments. Me and Alaska was joking and kicking and laughing the whole time. And then when I watched it, I was like, dang, they cut out so much stuff. They just put just the questions. I'm like, honey, me and Alaska was making jokes and laughing and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. How was it, like, lip syncing in front of Ariana Grande? Um, it was cool. Uh -huh. Thank you. It was cool. Um, I mean, I wasn't that all that happy to lip sync, but, I mean, it was cool. I don't think Ariana Grande liked me. They didn't show it, but you should have seen her face. She did not like my look, especially when I came down the runway with all of that um, blood and stuff. <laughs> and I'm surprised they didn't show it because <laughs> it was like TV gold. But her face was like, she did, she was not feeling my gig at all. I was like, well, and I was so excited. I was like, oh, I can see Ariana Grande. I'm so excited. And then she saw me and she was probably like, Ew, what is that? But I'm like, hey, you know, I wanted to actually be dead. It's called Death Becomes Her, hello. And no, I didn't study the movie or whatever, but. Are you noticing that you are a frequent guest on YouTube channel? Oh, I know. That's because every time I come to L.A., I always hit up World of Wonder and be like, hey, I want to come record some stuff. So, mm-hmm. I always go on up there and be like, um, let's do it. Right, sometimes I wonder. Sorry, my alarm keep coming off. I gotta set like five alarms because I will not get up. Come through for my way, buddy. Sometimes I wonder if the things, if the guest judge know the things and get that you're supposed to look dead. Um, no, I think she knew. I just think that. Oh, uh, congratulations, Shalana. I think, <clears throat> I think she knew. I just think that she just didn't like me. Well, not necessarily me, but she just didn't like my look. Because she looked terrified. I'm like, girl, you act like I'm like a actual dead person. Like, I'm about to go in there. But I mean, I know I got fake blood, but maybe it's fake. Don't look scared, Miss Grande. Yeah, she did not feature me at all. Yeah, she'll say congrats to Shalana. She's getting married. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, can I have my ticket, please? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, you will. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, now ready to go. Oh, excellent. Oh, no, I'm good. Like, I am stuffed. I ate way too much. Uh huh. I feel blessed. Oh, oh well, should I sign it now? Or? We, we'll get you, I'll get you another copy whenever I run this one. Oh, it comes okay. out with like the, the copy just signs on the top. Kind of oh, okay, hey, thank you. Uh huh. Not it's the ex revenge. <laughs> Orange juice and shade. I live by Virginia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody said flirt. I don't flirt. Yeah, they, got, they all have signature stuff, but for some reason, the top one, we actually need this one signed there. Okay. Yeah, that works. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, thank you so much. Awesome. Yes, it was a good day as well. Thank you, you as well. Thank you. Hmm? Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Is that home? Huh? Is that home? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Come on through. Now he is flirting. 
I am not flirting with these folks. You don't know if I was flirting. I'm just being nice, a good old Southern gentleman. Can I not be a good Southern gentleman? You know what I'm saying? If I was flirting, I'd say I'd get this pussy. And it's dingling. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Okay. And to my hotel room I go. Well, I got my room key. Let me make sure I ain't leaving nothing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good day. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a good day. Um. But yeah, I hope I don't lose service, y'all, because I'm going on on the elevator. Girl. No, I meant the waiter. <clears throat> uh-uh. The only thing that waiter wants is my tips, honey, and the coins. All right, honey. I need this good old room key, honey bun. Mm-hmm. Hey, Carla. telling you you got to be nice to folks these people do not um work and give you service for you to be a word hole ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for no a word holes Girl, they be trying. uh what's up daniel i'll see you soon daniel cole i'm here i just ate me some good old breakfast and I am about to go beat this mug to eternity. Now let's hope and pray my room key still works. Oh, yes it does. Won't you do it? <clears throat> yes, queen. <sighs> well, it's time to paint my face. I might paint my face live, I don't know. Should I paint my face live? No, because I wanna paint naked today. And I got to take me a quick shower. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, <clears throat> I love you guys. And I am going to, you said, as a waitress, trust me, we appreciate niceness. Yeah, mm-hmm, amen to that. There ain't no, there's no reason to be nice and rude. These people is coming here to go to work and have a regular day at work, honey, and enjoy themselves. There's no reason to be rude to folks. People are like, oh, you're so nice. What are you supposed to be? You supposed to be, but thank you though. Uh, <clears throat> oh my God, you should have seen night before last. Me and my drag daughter, we was in Waffle House, and there was oh my God, some ratchet loud folks. I mean, they were the most loud ratchet people that you could have possibly ever imagined, and um, they just started yelling and hooping and hollering and. And I was just like, oh my God, like really, you are in public. It's okay if you gotta get somebody together or y'all wanna fight or whatever it is, but baby, do that at home or outside. Not even outside in the parking lot of the restaurant. Do that like in a cornfield or somewhere where they ain't gonna look, uh, nobody ain't gonna see your foolishness. So these people, they started yelling, then they started cussing out each other, and then one of them started yelling at some girl that was with them, and then there was a big guy that was talking about that he was going to beat up the little skinny guy, and then the skinny guy clearly got scared, because he kept his mouth closed until he walked outside. And then he walked outside, and then he started hooping and yelling and jumping and bumping and beating and knocking and doing all that, and I was just like, these are clowns. Like, part of me wanted to be like, world star? <laughs> <laughs> so I can get some views but I was like there's no need to put even more foolishness that already is online um, <clears throat> because it's ridiculous I'm like people y'all need to know how to act y'all are grown men and women then apparently they drove to um, they got to the end of the parking lot yeah that's how far they got and got off the car and then they started physically physically fighting and I was just like really really Pray for people. But all I'm saying is, I tipped my waiter really good because my waiter was actually gay. He was a gay guy. Um, really sweet. He was actually hitting on my boyfriend. 
the last time we were there. Um, there was this gay guy. He was a waiter or whatever. His name is Red. And um, <laughs> me and my man had came there last week. And he was like all up on my man, all up on my boyfriend. It's like, ooh, mm, mm. yes, I know my boyfriend's cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, um, and so we just kept on hitting on him and stuff. And um, by the way, y'all, I'm in a new relationship. I mean, we just made it official like last week. Um, <clears throat> but he was hitting all up on him and stuff. And, um, uh, you know, but he was a nice guy. So anyways, we got him as a waiter the day of the fight. And they said just right before I walked in, uh, the gay guy was standing behind the counter. Now, if y'all have a Waffle House, y'all should know how I set up where like the, it's the counter and then the kitchen. And he had glanced over at them and, um, they were just like, Oh, look at this faggot. Um, and so they were just like being rude. So, um, I literally tipped him really good because I felt bad and I was just like, you know, I apologize that there are fools in this world that you got to deal with, you know. Um, it was just, I don't know. It was just irritating because I just don't, I can't stand how people don't know how to F and act. I'm like, honey, you are in public. Learn how to act. So that's why I'm always nice to my waiters and waitresses and staff and stuff because, child, I'm telling you, sometimes these ratchet folks be walking in these, you don't know what they've been through. And then they said, oh, they said this to um, one of their other employees. They were like, this has been the worst day ever for us. One of their other employees, he was like, I think he was like 18 or something. He was like a young guy. He just started working there. Um, one of the other employees, um, right as he was leaving his shift, he got jumped. And they said they figured, and trust me, this is not in the ghetto. It was just ghetto people that was there at that Waffle House. Um <clears throat> And, um, anyways, um, but yeah, he got jumped and somebody pulled out a box cutter and cut him in the head and he was like bleeding on the concrete and they were just like, this has been the worst day ever. They was like, first, our employee gets jumped in the parking lot. Now the employees did say it was probably his fault because he likes to run his mouth and be rude. Um, but I was just like, are you serious? So yeah, when you go out to a restaurant, tip your wait staff because you don't know what they've been through. And then they had another employee just up and walk out. So they were short staffed. One of the persons, you know, one of the uh, persons, one of the people got jumped in the parking lot. Then you had like a group of fools that decided to fight and be ratchet and ghetto all within like two hours of being at work. So yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, I would love to come to Brazil. Um, if somebody in Brazil pay my booking fee, I'll be there. <laughs> yes. Come on through for the lighting. It's showing all my, uh, skin imper imperfections. Look at that. Look at them dark circles. It's okay. They're going to be concealed. <laughs> Work that puss. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I don't mess with these people who touch my food. Amen to that. How you doing, boo? I'll be seeing your... Sorry, y'all. My um, phone connection. I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi at the hotel, and the Wi-Fi here is not the tea. Um, but yeah, I'm eating some good breakfast. Oh, hey, New Zealand. Hey, Penny. Hey, Solitaire. We are here in the city of Louisville, Kentucky. If you are in Louisville, Kentucky, in a few hours, I will be making my way over to Lemu for a drag brunch. But I'm having my own drag brunch here at the hotel because uh, by the time I even get to eat, brunch is going to be over. That's going to be about 2.30, 3 o'clock. No, I think the second show starts at 2. So maybe 3.34. What's up, Oregon? Um, I'm performing in Kentucky. At a label drag brunch. Oh, yes, I'm excited. 
come through for what what is that? Lord, y'all gonna clock me. Macedonia? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't even know what it is. Is that a problem? Oh, uh, hey, boo. Oh, I totally forgot. I do need to talk to Murray about coming back to the community. Lord, fix, fix it, Jesus. Oh, I don't forgot. You know, honey, I'm so ADD. Yes, thank you so much. I'm good, thank you. Baby. Hopefully these eggs don't make me boo-boo. But baby, I got these eggs. And a good old waffle. Come through for the waffle. Mm-hmm. Girl, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> come to Brazil. I would love to come to Brazil and Germany. Hey, Belgium. <laughs> Politeness queen. <laughs> yes, darling, you have to have your manners. Yes, sir, no, sir. May I suck the cock? You always have to ask. Thank you, love. Uh, I miss you, boo. My future star. Uh-huh, yes. You're right about that, Kalana Blue. Baby, this year has been sickening for me as far as the gigs go. Uh, 